Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we've got LEGO The Incredibles Municipal Financial Free Roam for you. That's right, this is the final free roam of the areas, and we're going to get a trophy achievement for ringing off that final red brick, which, if you've been following along, you should get to. We're going to get a couple of characters and abilities for our free play, and it's important to note, too, that we actually did this area last because there is a requirement to have all of the family builds done before the final family build appears. So, uh, there are two on the the list as you'll see as we pull up our map but only one appears right now and as per usual we're gonna go ahead and start off with the district challenge this one happens to be called payment declined and as it turns out there are five ATMs scattered throughout the area we're gonna need to go ahead and smash them all there you go you got the first one which is actually just to the right of where the old fast travel insertion point is and uh, we'll go ahead and make our way down this alleyway and uh, avoid the bad guys there in fact they're actually gonna come find their way to us but uh, real quick we'll give a peek on the map of where the second one is now keep in mind too there is no specific order in which these need to be obtained you just need to get all of them that's all that matters all right, moving along down, down the back alleyway here, we've got another little section here. You might have actually rounded this one up doing the crime wave. I actually ran into it and had to redo this area as a result because I wanted to make sure I got them all in this particular video for you. So uh, anyway, we got the third one down. We're headed to number four, and this guy is along the back. It's kind of like under the old bridge there. There's that highway or byway, whatever you want to call it. It's right under that guy and uh, next to those cool doors. Did you notice those? All right, last but not least, we got the final ATM, which is right over by the big Pixar family build on the map, which is kind of on the uh, left side or western-based area. Now we're going to go ahead and smash it, get our goo brick, and then, of course, we're going to turn around and get the family bill, but not before completing this and getting the police sergeant character token. Thank you very much. We'll go ahead and add that to our list. And, uh, yeah, like I said, moving along, we got a family build coming up next. This one is a Pixar, and it's going to give us Russell, which is the old scout from the movie Up. I actually happen to know that one as well. It's pretty cool. We actually get, I believe his name's Kevin, that we get to call out to. It's pretty sweet. This one does require five Incredibricks. bricks. You probably have plenty, but if not, there are lots scattered right close by so go ahead and spam 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 that's right you got to fill up the meters or completer the meters as we like to say around here once they're all full and plentiful they'll go ahead and load up into one giant icon spin around and da, 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 da. it's actually going to give us the up house which i thought was pretty sweet too now most of you've probably already seen this because there's been lots of spoilers out there and i'm not necessarily on the early side of things with this video we're, we're definitely a little behind due to uh, some unexpected things but uh, there he is russell we've got him and uh oh to the yeah we'll add him to our overall list and then we're actually going to use him and his tracking ability right there. As you can see, there is a little magnifying glass indicating that there is some secret sleuth stuff going on over there, but not before collecting all of this studdage. Now, what's up with the cars? That's the second car that's trying to block my path getting over to this house. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, it needs to stop right about now. All right, we got Russell, his tracking ability. Now, if you don't have Russell yet, which would be weird, like maybe you uh, are short some bricks or something, I don't know. There is a way to make a tracker ability through the uh, Edna Mode location over there where you can actually create different characters, which is how we had our tracker up until now, but now we got an official tracker, so... Uh, you can see he actually had some sort of a magnet that opened the door, gave us access inside. There is a ladder on the far right back wall. Go ahead and climb up to the top and then smash the brown glowing boxes and rebuild them into... He doesn't know. What are we going to build them into, Russell? It's a t TV? No, it's a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, look at that. It's a balloon dispenser. And up, up, and away the house should go. I don't know if it actually takes off, though. Regardless, we got a red brick out on the front lawn, so we're going to go ahead and switch to our other character to make things easier, not having to fight our way out of that house. And look at that, we've got the Destroy on Contact red brick, which for us was also the final red brick, which unlocks that trophy achievement. Luck favors the prepared. And you can see we've only got about half of them on. Really, anything that's stud-related we always have on. Anything else is just kind of whatever. But uh, speaking of whatever, we got Incredit Brick 1 in this back left corner over here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick peek at the map rule. You know, I actually forgot to show you that there was a new family build over there. Notice it's there now. Before there was only the one, and now that one is gone, but there is a new one. 
And uh, that is, again, because we have completed all of the other family builds throughout the entire free roam areas. And that's why, again, we did this area last. Now, uh, yeah, we got uh, Incredibrek over here on the pier side. I guess it's over by the water. And then we got another one over uh, the back side of the water. This guy is uh, tucked in. Oh, you don't need to get too wet for them. But I take a little dip anyway. Syndrome. I hope his costume is waterproof because he is often in the water. Speaking of the water, we're going to actually go out and do those ones right now. There happens to be a race out here. I thought it would be fun to take Russell on a little swim to see how his scout skills are. And I saw that bluesy there, too, if you're wondering why I took a little detour. But, uh, yeah, look at that. He's actually he moves pretty fast. Most characters go pretty good in the water. Only some can go under, though. And we're going to switch to one of our favorite underwater swimmers, Dory. That's right, we unlocked her in another family build in one of our free roam videos. I don't actually, off the top of my head, I do not remember which area it was, but you know us, we're gonna just keep swimming, just keep swimming. This was a pretty easy race. I do recommend using the uh, up and down buttons on the, uh, instead of using the pad, like, or the analog to go up and down, that gets a little squirrely tapping that up and down. So I use the uh, X and uh, circle button on the PlayStation, which would be what, Y and, or no, A and B, A and B. But, uh, yeah, so uh, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. I like how they have the barriers out there, too. You can see there's kind of a, an imaginary wall that's not so imaginary. <laughs> you can't go through it. But, uh, yeah, boy. Anybody else out there super excited to get to that free playage? I know that uh, a lot of you are kind of wondering why we did it this way. Well, it's because, for one, we're going to get those stud multipliers, get our... Um, all of them on, really, so that we can get that billionaire trophy achievement without too much farming or extra work. Um, and we also had some abilities and some characters that we needed to round up. Even though we were able to create a few with some abilities, uh, there is one called uh, Super Destroy that we need. And uh, I think there's one other one, too. Now, I'm just following the guide. Now, hey, what's going on here? This silly marker is back at it again. And, uh, you know, I keep thinking this has to be user error of some sort, but there's just no way that this is my fault. Like, I'm tagging other objects, and it's, like, defaulting and changing and telling me, oh, you want to go over here? Like, right now, it's actually made the marker where I'm going, which is just weird. It looks more like a story-based marker, which is what I thought was going on at first, but that doesn't appear to be the case after all. And it does throw me for a few loops throughout the rest of this video, so, uh, yeah, be ready for that. Oh, yeah. And there's actually a really funny moment. I, I even titled it down below, LOL. I didn't put a, a, a timestamp on it for the quick links, but it is pretty funny because I literally, like, walk right by an Incredibrick a couple of times. I edited some of them out because it was just ridiculous. It took me, like, three or four minutes to find it. But but uh, in all honesty, I didn't actually find it in my first attempt. I actually left and gave up. I thought that the brick was glitched out or maybe, it, I don't know. I, I figured I got 100 bricks. Maybe I don't get any more Incredibricks now or something. I did know what was going on i regardless though i thought it was pretty stinking funny and i hope hopefully you do too but all right we got we got one more just keep swimming oh we're outside the boundary there for half a second it looked like what's going on there seems to be some sort of oh you know i've never noticed on the compass it actually puts a little red dot where your next little ring is gonna be see i'm used to those red dots on the compass being an ambient crime like a baddie so i was like for a second i'm like wait a minute there's baddies out in the water i didn't even know that but it, it's just the ring. That's that's my bad. You'd think that I would have figured that out by now, considering that's like the last water race that's available to us. But, yeah, sometimes I'm a little slow. And it's all good. All right, we got that gold brick. We got a whole bunch of studded, too. And speaking of studs, look at that. Because we've got our multiplier on now, we have uh, almost 200,000. Or, no, excuse me, 200 million. Whew, my math's not so good right now. <laughs> all right, all right. It is Monday, for the record. It is Monday. I don't feel like I have a case of the Mondays, but my brain, you know, I, I've, I've been fighting a cold. I know I mentioned that in the last video, too. I've been kind of sick, and uh, you know how it is when you're kind of under the weather. Things aren't functioning at full capacity, and I'm still kind of feeling that. Hopefully you don't hear it too much. I, I know I got a little bit of a sinus stuff going on, but... Anyway, so yeah, grab that gold brick on the old balcony there. Make your way up another level and grab that incredible brick. And we're going to go all the way to the top of this building. Don't be confused by that marker flashing down there. Uh, even though, look, I mean, look at that. I just tagged the one up on the top of this building and it's going, no, it's over here. And I'm <laughs> just got to ignore it. Hopefully that's not happening for you. I don't know if that's like a PlayStation exclusive, <laughs> you know, like maybe there's something wrong with the coding or the last update. I don't know. 
I, I really honestly don't know. Hopefully that's uh, hopefully that's really just something that's happening with me and no one else is experiencing this. Feel free to drop me a comment down below, though, and let me know. Just try to ignore it. That's the only thing I can really say. If it is happening to you, try to target the item that you're after. Like right now, look, I'm standing on the gold brick, but for whatever reason... The pathway, the green, or excuse me, the blue ghost stud trail is actually taking me out to somewhere far, far away. I actually, for a second, thought that it might be related to this. And I thought, maybe I got to go out there and do something first. Nope. You just got to do the tracker. And then once you get the tracker done, it gives you, uh, I think it actually takes you right to the gold brick, if I remember right. Anyhow. Uh, all right. We're making our way around with our detective sleuth skills. And eventually we'll get to oh there it is an icon that we'll go ahead and press and there you go we've got ourselves a gold brick now this is kind of cool but it's also kind of crazy i i use the call in feature which is a new one for me i don't know that there's ever been a call in for a lego character ability before maybe i'm forgetting something but uh anyhow i was able to call in the old bird I, again i believe his name is kevin and it's kind of fun. You get to ride around him for a little bit. But at the same time, he becomes kind of a nuisance because he's so large. He's always on the camera. He's always right in the way. Go ahead and grab that incredible brick in the brush there. It's kind of hidden. But uh, next up, we got another race. This one is on land. And you'll see Kevin make his way into the uh, screen here. As soon as we get all lined up, I get Dash pulled out. And there's Kevin right in the way. And hopefully his name is Kevin. Hopefully I'm not messing that up. You guys will tell me down below if I did. And it'll be too late to make any corrections at that point. But, oh, speaking of corrections, there was a little edit right there. Kevin's still in the way, showing his face. But, uh, oh, oh, so this race, I messed up not once but twice. So this is actually my third attempt doing it. And, and the first time I messed up and I went through one of the halos or one of the rings right there. I went through... Uh, that ring, so I thought, but I missed it, and I actually hit the baboinger, and it threw me so far away that I just didn't have enough time to get back and get all the way to the gold in time. As you can see, I made a couple of mistakes, and I slid in right under the uh, required time there. It was a little too close for comfort, but I got that ghoul brick, and look at that. See this bird? I tell you what, he is definitely from, uh, I don't know, I don't know. We're going to switch it out here in a minute. Here, we switch over to Russell, I think. Oh, not yet, not yet. I, I, we hang out for a little bit longer. We got an incredible brick up on top of this roof. A lot of these are just way up on top. So far, there hasn't been really any tough bricks of any sort. I mean, look at this. This is actually the hardest part is like not falling for the trickery of the objective marker. Like, that is so ridiculous. I just targeted an incredible brick on this roof, but now it's trying to take me down and around over across the way. Not okay. Not okay. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure this is where I switch out, Kevin, here. Yep, yep. No more Russell. We're going to go ahead and switch to somebody a little less intrusive. And uh, this was fun, too. We did a little uh, building drop with Lightning McQueen here. Watch this. He's got some pretty good suspension, I'll tell you what. Woo to the hoo! <laughs> All right. Oh, it looked like he might have lost some sort of, uh, I guess I probably just smashed into something else. It looked like he might have lost a wheel or something there. But all right, we're going back out into the water. As I mentioned before, the final race has been completed, but we do have a little bit of business left out here. So we're going to switch to Dory one more time. And uh, this one just happens to be sitting out in the open. We'll take that. Thank you very much. All right, so Incredibrick 7 is officially ours. Now, keep in mind, too, that at this point, uh, unless you have a whole bunch of family builds left, if you've been following along, you probably have more than enough Incredibricks. I don't think that you need all of them. I, I don't know that for sure. I probably should know that, but I, I don't. I know that there is a trophy achievement for getting uh, 100 of, or not not a trophy achievement, a challenge related to getting 100 of them. But I don't, I don't know. It's probably related to the 100. I, I, my guess is you probably got to get them all. Usually, Lego doesn't really spare any extras. Every once in a while, they do, though. Every once in a while. All right, we got another family build. This one was kind of a surprise. I wasn't sure what to expect. I knew that we had all of the red bricks, so we weren't going to get that. I knew this was a Pixar build, but I wasn't sure. And, and then I in the cheats, I saw Junior listed. I didn't know who Junior was. Like I've seen this little icon for years, and, and I, I had no idea that his name was Junior. It makes sense, though. But hey, hey, Junior, welcome to the collection. I don't know if he's got any special powers or not. I still haven't checked him out. We'll have to do that in a future video. Now, is that something you guys would like to see? Is it some sort of like a, uh, like a maybe a live stream of me kind of going through some of the characters and screwing around for a while? 
You know, generally we do like, oh, look at that, truly incredible. So another trophy achievement. I forgot to list that one in the front end there. But uh, so, yeah, apparently that is for getting all of the Pixar characters unlocked, I, I believe. Or maybe it's completing all the family builds. Either way, it's pretty much the same thing, just a different way of saying it. But uh, all right, next up, we're going to go ahead and switch to a character that has arms because this gold brick needs us to spin a crank around. And luckily for us, it's all intact. We just need to spin to win. I had second thoughts for a second there. I was like, uh-oh, what if this is something else? I hope this isn't like a global challenge. But look at that. Burr, burr, gives it the old foghorn there and pukes out a gold brick. Blech. We'll take it and add it to our collection. And next up, we got another credit brick. So we'll fly to the old rooftop here. There doesn't seem to be any building names which I guess you probably don't need them. I mean, you know, like in the Marvel game, they had names of all the buildings, but they were relevant, I guess, to Marvel backstories and different characters. So this would have been a little harder as we don't know a whole bunch about Municiburg outside of the two Incrediburg movies. <laughs> Incredible movies. Oh, my goodness. All right, so this is the LOL moment. So watch. There is an incredible brick right down to my right in between these two buildings. It's actually behind a thing. This is a bad time for the Patreon logo, too. <laughs> I guess maybe it's funny. Uh, anyway, so it's right there behind that little air duct, and you see it for half a second. I finally just gave up. I, I flew all around. I went up. I looked down. I looked left. I looked right. And I just finally said, you know what? It's not there. Something's glitched out. So I left it. It's not glitched out. I actually physically saw it there when I was flying around. And I come back and I get it. It's the actual, it's the final Incredible Brick on the list. So it, I guess we saved the best for last is really what, I, you know, I, I tried to make it look like I was noobing it up, but really my intention was best for last. No, I'm just kidding. There's no significance to that at all. And look, I thought this one right here too, I'm starting to go, wait a minute, where is this one now? This one is not showing up either, but I'm a little off to the left. So that's kind of user error. And I dropped down and it's actually right under the old uh, walkway down there. Yes, there we go, right by the doors. Thank you very much. We'll grab that and add it to our collection as well. So we are getting into the home stretch here. If there's any questions or things you would like us to address that we have not yet before getting to the free play, please drop us some comments down below, and we will try to do our best to make mincemeat out of them. All right, we got a couple of goldies up top here, and uh, I don't know if I uh, – I think I got these in the wrong order. I feel like I get the low one first and then the high one. I should have got the high one and then dropped down just, just for simplicity. But, uh, yep, second, I, I got to go up now. And this one, I think I think this one's a little bit wonky. No, this one's easy. This one's right out in front. This one, we got we to gotta bust open a wall. That's right. All right, so this requires a character with the strength ability. Uh, somebody like Mr. Incredible will do just fine. Now, you can either double tap in the direction of the wall, which didn't work the first time for me, or you can go ahead and hit the icon that pops up, which for us was square, and then we didn't want to wait for our big old body to get in there, so we switched to somebody a little bit more agile to get inside and collect that so we can go ahead and move on to the next one, which is actually uh, an Incredible Break. A couple of, couple of streets over and on another rooftop, it appears. Look at it. it looks like our objective marker has been working a little bit. Now, you can see that there is a glowing yellow dot in the opposite direction of where we're going. Still not sure what that's all about, but the good news is is that this is the last level that we got to worry about it, and we're literally in like the last five collectibles. So that's pretty sweet. All right, this one's hiding in the old bush here. Thank you very much. Look at that. So we got 30 incredible bricks and nothing to do with them. I don't think there's anything left for us to spend them on because we've used all the family builds and there's nothing else, right? Interesting. I, w I wonder why they gave us extra. I I that would be a, a good thing to ask like somebody like Art Parsons or somebody who is involved with the development of this game. Uh, but I don't unfortunately have access to him, not, not on a daily basis. Of course, Twitter is always available, but... I have not had much luck getting responses. Oh, this one was fun, too. Watch this. It, I call this one the Plummet of Doom. We're going to go ahead and switch to Mr. Incredible because he can withstand a fall like this. Woo. Made me a little queasy. I won't lie. <sighs> All right. Last, but, well, I guess not quite last. Almost last, but not least. we got a race. It's up in the sky. It does require a flying character. Syndrome will do just fine. And uh, this one's actually rather lengthy. So, you know, if you've already completed this one or you don't need any tips for it and you want to get to the next spot, feel free to use the quick link for the final Incredibrick, which is kind of a mystery of where it was, even though I already told you. But hiding behind that air conditioning duct, I thought that was pretty funny, though. I don't know about you guys. Hopefully you guys got a kick out of that. You know, there's always that one video that I, like, have a brain fart on or something that just doesn't go right for me. And there's been a couple of moments that could have qualified for that, but I think in our final free roam video, we actually have the winner. 
All right. So this this like I said, this is a little bit of a lengthy race. Uh, not much to talk. You know what's crazy? I still haven't seen the Lego or not Lego. I still haven't seen Incredibles two yet. I, I feel like I've already watched the movie as it's kind of gone through most of it, and I know the storyline. Like I spoilers have all been given thanks to this game, but I you know I still haven't even seen it yet. I did finally see Avengers Infinity War, though, for those of you who have been kind of tracking my movie progress. I did finally get to see that, and, uh, you know, for those of you who haven't, I won't talk much about it, but mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. And you guys said it would be, and I finally got around to see it. So now I just need to see Deadpool 2, and I think I'll be mostly caught up in the Marvel Universe as far as movie. I still need to see Justice League, too. I'm so far behind in movies, I swear, guys. I just... Lately, life has been a little crazy. In fact, I, I owe you guys a video real soon. In fact, as soon as I get my camera back, I let a family member borrow my camera. As soon as I get it back, I am going to shoot a kind of an informational video and just kind of get you guys caught up. I, I don't want to call it a game break because it's not you know, we've, we've been missing out on those. But I'll explain all of that stuff. And anyway, enough of my sob story. Okay, we've got the final race done. I thought we were going to get a trophy achievement for that too, but no such luck. All right, there's that flashing yellow marker out there for no good reason, too. That, remember, that was an Incredibrick brick underwater. I'm not sure what that is still, like, telling me to go out there. I, and maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's totally something I'm missing. But anyway, look at this. So I fly in, and as soon as I fly in the angle, I see it right away. And watch, I'm like, no way. You've got to be kidding me. So anyways, laugh it up. Ha, ha, ha. Joke's on Brian. But uh, anyhow, guess what? The the good news, the gooder news is that actually wraps up all of the free roam stuff. And we are pretty much ready for free play now. So I'm going to check with Tyler P and make sure there's nothing else I need to do. But we're going to take a quick spin around here, too, and make sure that you see we got everything. We got all them gold bricks, all the collect, all the crime waves. Everything is complete. Well, okay, we still got a few challenges that are floating around, the global challenges. And I thought, you know, I might just do a live stream of those. I might. I might just do a live stream and then come back and put some quick links for you guys. I, either way, I'm happy. You can see both of our characters jumping for joy. But that's going to wrap it up for LEGO The Incredibles Financial District Free Room. That's actually, uh, it feels good to say that for the final time of this series. Anyways, uh, free play coming up soon. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Check us out on social media. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. <laughs>